I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Luke Gallows, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. Already cemented their legacy as one of the greatest tag teams in the world. You're right, Cole, and that's why the tag team division has been on notice since their return. They already look mean. Now they just need the green. They make short work of their opponents and head right to the pay window. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross. Two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. When Karrion Cross gets in the ring, he always seems confident that it's only a matter of time until he's standing over his opponent victorious. In Cross's mind, he's something of a human doomsday clock, just counting down the seconds until he delivers the obliteration of his victim. It's a ruthless mindset, but it's brought Karrion Cross plenty of success. Now the clock is ticking on this match. We'll see if Cross is able to exact his apocalyptic plans in this one. But he's facing one of the toughest competitors the WWE roster has, Carl Anderson, a man who has made it his mission to prove his superiority all over the world by taking on anyone willing to step in the ring with him. Yeah, we've seen the lengths that Anderson's willing to go to test himself and push himself to that next level. It certainly paid off for him in gold. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, jeez.
Danielson really shining lately as a singles competitor. How does an opponent plan for him outside of the usual tag team setting? The thing you don't expect from Anderson is his speed. The man is so fast and precise, he was nicknamed the Machine Gun. And believe me, he earned it. Oh, man, what a strike. Half kick right on point. Now he's been put on the defensive. Setting up. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. A uh, timely counter by Cross. Blinged across the way. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Carrying Cross to the Doomsday Saito. And that could be a sign of the last Sands falling down the hourglass. We've arrived. It's about time. Staying alive there is unheard of. And Cross with a look of absolute fury on his face. He doesn't like being defied. He really thought he had this one here. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. And Cross is taking command of this one. Carry and Cross making this fight scarier with every maneuver. Taking it outside the ring now. Whoa! Yeah. Toss back into the ring. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. That catches Cross looking. Crucial power on there because Carl was falling behind. Yeah, Anderson able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match?